What's up guys, StuDog here, and today I'm going to be doing my review over the OTS Pack 3. So this is a very great day in history. I'm super excited for this OTS Pack, because you know what? It is finally the day that Swap Frog gets a hollow printing. Oh my god, we have waited seven years. Seven years. Those have been some painful seven years, man. Stardust Overdrive, the original printing of this card, came out in November of 2009, Six years later, this card still hasn't got a holo printing anywhere, and it, it just deserved it. It's been in so many decks over these past years, and always been just a great card in these frog decks. So finally, with some hype from Treat Toad and totally awesome stuff, this card finally gets the well-deserved ultimate rare printing it deserves. And as you can see, it looks very nice in ultimate rare. It's definitely going to be the most sought-after card, because the other two ultimate rares are not nearly as good as this one. Look at how nice it looks, seriously. I hope it's not going to be more than $50, because I wouldn't mind picking up a few of these, just because I've always been a fan of this card. But, man, there it is. Swap Frog, finally, after seven years, gets that hollow printing. Amazing, man. So, anyway, let's go on to the other two Ultimate Mirrors. What could these possibly be? Well, it is the Super Quantal Mech Beast Grand Pulse, along with Speedroid Terra Top. So these were just two random ultimate rares. Personally, I think there could have been much better ultimate rares, especially Grand Pulse. Like, that just came out of nowhere. Now, Terra Top, that's a pretty nice ultimate rare. I think it came out in... I know it came out at a hollow in its original printing, either Ultra or Super. So, I mean, I guess ultimate rare is a definitely a bigger upgrade. I know Konami, they've gotten rid of printing ultimate rares in booster sets anymore. Now, the only new ultimate rares they print are ones from these OTS packs which come out like once every season if that so I mean yeah there you go I believe the set's gonna come out for tournament stores on November 18th so there you go unfortunately you can still only get these at tournament official Konami tournament stores so you can't just go down to your local Walmart and get them and yeah you can buy them off eBay but like I say time and time again these cards or these packs are so easy to stack because you're guaranteed a hollow in every pack, and ultimate rares weigh slightly less than super rares, so anyone could just scale a whole bunch of packs and sell all the heavy ones on eBay and keep all the light ones for themselves, which sounds kind of weird to say, but I mean, trust me, I've bought a decent chunk of these off eBay. I was that rookie. I've bought like, I think, 15 of these off eBay, of course, didn't pull any ultimate rare. And, well, that goes back to Astro Packs as well. Like I said, if you guys have been a long-time subscriber, I've opened quite a bit of Astro Packs in my life. Have never pulled an Ultimate Rare once in my life. That is one thing that is on my bucket list, but hopefully one of these days it can <laughs> it can finally happen. But yeah, Speedbird Terror Top, I'm not going to complain too much on this. It's a pretty nice Ultimate Rare now. Super Quantal Mech Beast Grand Pulse. This card pretty much has replaced Ghost Trick All Card as rank 3s because it destroys face-up cards as well. Ghost Trick All Card is nice in Ghost Tricks because it has that second effect to add um, a ghost trick card from your graveyard back to your hand and it was also good to destroy set monsters as well because grand pulse only destroys spell and traps ghost trick all of card can destroy set just any set card but i mean <laughs> being able to destroy continuous cards and face up cards is just so much better and not a lot of people are setting monsters in the current meta i know ghost trick all of card was very nice in that gear gear mirror match as you go mk2 into gear Giano, exceed into that ghost trick all of card detach to destroy your opponent's set Girgia armor, but unfortunately Girgias are not doing anything in the meta right now. Pretty sad, but here it is. Your three ultimate rares overall, not too bad. Definitely could have been much better cards to print as an exceed if they wanted to do another exceed, but what you gonna do? I mean Utopia the Lightning would have been kinda nice. I wouldn't mind an Omega reprint as well. Seriously, where is our Cyframe Lord Omega reprint? Like, come on already. Card's been fifty dollars for the longest of times. Now, I know if they would have done that as Ultimate Rare, that still would have been like $50, but I mean, if they would have put that as like a Super Rare, oh, that would have been so clutch. Not even funny, but anyway, let's go over some of the other cards in this set. I heard a rumor that Chaos Trap Hole is also getting a Super Rare reprint, even though it's not in this picture right here, but I've always been a big fan of Chaos Trap Hole. That card came out in 2010. I've used it in pretty much any side deck. It's always been one of my favorite side deck cards, but I mean... I think almost all the side decks I used at my top 8 regionals I used it in just because I thought it was such a great card and I cited it before anyone else, trust me. I've, there's an old, old video on my channel talking about how good that card was and yeah, I, I was the only one who cited it for the longest of times, I just always thought it was a great card. So finally I heard a rumor that it is getting its first holo printing in the set. But going on to some of the other super rares, 
We got Oasis of Dragon Souls, which is pretty nice. Allied Justice Cycle Reader, which is getting another super rare printing. I know its original printing was in Hidden Arsenal 3 in late 2010, so finally, after six years, this card can get a reprint, so the <laughs> supply will be much higher on that. The demand might still be high, but I mean, at least there's going to be a lot more in circuit, so it will be much easier to get. Stuff like Dupe Frog, again, getting its first hollow printing, so that treat toad hype for the win dupe frog nice to see this get a hollow printing stuff like fusionist is getting a common printing so i don't think fusionist has actually got a reprint in a, quite some time and metaphors gold driver that is kind of nice stuff like ignite reload that's getting reprint as well sky iris which came out of that structure deck about a year ago finally getting that Hollow printing it deserves. Domain of the True Monarchs, even though Monarchs are not doing anything right now after those ban list hits. I mean, I guess they're still <laughs> giving them some hollow cards. I know in the previous uh, tournament pack, like the tournament pack 3 and the OTS pack 3, whatever, or the OTS pack 2, rather, the one before this one had a lot of Monarch cards hollow, so that's pretty nice. Stuff like Frog the Jam, which apparently got its name changed to... Slime Toad <laughs> is getting its first reprint since 2002, so that's pretty nice. Big shout out to all the people from 2002. I bet there's some people watching this video who weren't even born then. <laughs> Feels bad, man. But yeah, big shout out to the to the Slime Toad or the Frog the Jam, whatever you want to call it. And then uh, Doom Shaman getting a common reprint. That's pretty nice, I guess. So overall, cannot really complain too much on the super rares. I would have loved to see an Omega or a Utopia of the Lightning. Especially a Utopia of the Lightning. Like, dear lord, that card is way too much money. But, I mean, yeah. We can, we can just hope, guys. We can just hope. But overall, definitely most excited for the Swap Frog right here. And, let's see. Any other comments that I missed that are notable? I mean, Unizombie's nice. DD Crow's nice. The Black Dragon's chick. <laughs> it's a pretty weird name, but... Nothing I really missed. Just, yeah, the super rares. I heard a rumor that Chaos Trap Pull is actually going to be in here as well. Now, don't quote me on this, but... I mean, I'm definitely excited for the Oasis of Dragon Souls. LA Justice Cycle Reader is very nice, because I'll make it go down in price quite a bit. Paladin of Felgrin, that's a pretty random super rare. But yeah, Dupe Frog, definitely really nice. Chaos Trap Pull, if it's in here, is going to be awesome. Sky Iris is great as well. Oasis, definitely excited for that. So overall... Very nice OTS, or, yeah, it is it's called OTS, but a very nice OTS Pack 3, in my opinion. Thank you all for watching. As always, leave your thoughts below. And until next time, this has been Stew Dog, and I'm